Uh, turning now to this story, Harvard Law professor Alan Dershowitz's ties to the Trump administration not quite sitting right with his former friend, uh, comedian and TV producer Larry David. Now, sources spotted the two in a verbal altercation while shopping at a local grocery store in Martha's Vineyard, with reports that Larry David screamed at Dershowitz uh, after greeting him. Uh, so the question is, are Americans no longer capable of having civil discourse? Here to discuss exactly what happened is Professor Emeritus at Harvard. Harvard Law School and author of the book Guilt by Accusation, Professor Alan Dershowitz himself. Uh, Professor Dershowitz, thank you very much for joining us. What happened? Well, first, I hate to talk about Larry <laughs> David, the same breath as Afghanistan and COVID. It was so, so silly. Um, there I was having a cup of coffee with a friend on the porch of the Chilmark store, which is a kind of local gathering place, a general store. And Larry starts screaming at me, saying, you know, uh, he just couldn't couldn't control himself. I thought he was going to have a stroke. Uh, uh, you know, I was terrible. I was all these horrible, horrible things. And the reason, because I patted on the back Mike Pompeo. Mike Pompeo was my former student. I had worked with him on the peace process uh, involving Israel and the Palestinians. Later, I worked with him on the Abraham Accords. And he's my former student. Of course, I'm going to pat him on the back and, and congratulate him uh, for uh, the work he has done. But that wasn't enough for Larry David. I'm disgusting. Uh, he said, uh, this is disgusting. Uh, he wouldn't talk to me. This is a guy whose daughter I helped get into college. I represented huh. him and his family pro bono in a dispute he had on Martha's Vineyard. Mm -hmm. But just because I defended President Trump in front of the Senate and I patted Mike Pompeo on the back, that's enough to end a 25-year friendship and to yeah. have him to me and scream at me. Yeah. First of all, I would have looked around to see if there were any cameras for the, the next Curb Your Enthusiasm episode. <laughs> but I, I, why did, and what, even when you told him that, he didn't respond. So comment on that. And then the broader question as to whether we've lost the ability to disagree on politics. And by the way, we know that you have said you voted for Biden. We know that you describe yourself as a liberal, which is probably yeah. in his camp as well. No, and that's the worst thing, that I'm a liberal, therefore I'm a traitor, I'm a Democrat. Look, I defended Ted Kennedy. I defended Senator Alan Cranston. I had to help defend President Clinton. Almost all of my clients who have been politicians have been Democrats, but because I also defended the Constitution on behalf of Donald Trump, that was enough. Look, I don't mind being socially ostracized, but I have been canceled by the Chilmark Library, which had me speak every year until I defended Trump, the Chilmark Community Center, the Chilmark Hebrew Center, the book fair. Now, this is pure and simple McCarthyism. When you start blaming the lawyer because you don't agree with the client, that's McCarthyism. Now, I didn't lose my job. I haven't lost my, you know, my, my, my living the way some people did during McCarthy's time. But I have lost uh, lots and lots of friends. I mean, obviously, weren't real friends. They were fair-weather friends. But it tells us something. You know, I used to debate Bill Buckley all the time on television. He was conservative. I was liberal. And we had a drink afterward. Today, you can't do that. You have to choose sides. Mm. And if you diverge for one second from one mm. side, if you liberal, I support the Constitution. But this time, the Constitution was being used against President Trump unconstitutionally. You've, you've lost it. You've lost your friends. You've lost your ability to influence people on Martha's Vineyard in mm -hmm. Chilmark. So I'm going to continue to fight back. I'm not going to quiet down because of, of him. Uh, and, yeah. you know, uh, I, I showed him the shirt I was wearing. Uh, may, I thought maybe he'd understand. My wife had gotten me this shirt. It says, it's the Constitution, stupid. I mean, smart enough to understand that yeah. I'm defending the Constitution here that today they use it against me. Tomorrow, they're going to use it against a Democrat. Look, if Hillary Clinton had gotten elected, she might very well have been impeached for uh, abuse of power. And I'd have been on her side. I'd have been defending her. Uh, the same thing is true if there's an impeachment now against okay. President Biden. 
any Republican. I don't choose sides. I defend the Constitution if it's abused. But I guess Larry David just just isn't quite up to understanding mm -hmm. that distinction between supporting somebody politically and defending the Constitution. So, yeah. you know, Bill go on screaming at people. I'm not going to engage with him at a screen. And relatively quiet. If he wants to have a conversation with me, hey, I'm a teacher. I'm happy to do that, but I'm not going to let him scream alone. Well, please tell your wife we love the T-shirt. <laughs> well, thank you. I, my wife did this for me. Uh, yes. She saw it online. And it's just perfect. And, it's perfect. Uh, he didn't like it. <laughs> and I I can understand that. But well, I expect mocked next season mm -hmm. on Curb Your Enthusiasm. And there'll probably be an episode mocking me and probably mocking President Obama, disinviting uh, um, Larry uh, from his party. Oh, and, that's and maybe right. He wasn't at the be. super spreader event. <laughs> so, but look, we have to go on defending the Constitution. I'm not going to be some. I'm not going to be chilled. I'm going to fight for everybody's rights, no matter who you are. And if Larry mm -hmm. uh, doesn't like it, he can uh, make new friends. And then he'll have those friends of time until he disagrees with them. And then he'll stop being their friend as well. All right. Well, per Professor Dershowitz, thank you very much for joining us and sharing with us the story. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.